Once upon a time, in a time not as long ago as you might imagine, there were two tribes. One tribe was the Sunflowers. They were easy to spot with the bright yellow sun they painted on their forehead and the beams of sunlight streaming down their arms. They did this to honor their god, the sun. The sun brought forth life. It grew their plants tall, provided warmth to their skin, and was too powerful for even their eyes to gaze upon. The sunflowers only came out during the day when the sun lit the sky. The other tribe was known as the night owls. Night owls worshipped the moon, for only it had the power to light the night. They had their faces painted white like the moon, and two sets of eyebrows. One their god had given them, and the other painted on to honor the same god. Night owls only came out at night, when the moon lit the sky. These tribes did not like each other, and for many generations they waged war against each other. As the years went on, stories were told, lies were created, and rumors became fact. One of the sunflowers was a young, inquisitive girl. She had many chores assigned by her parents. One of her chores was to fetch water by the river. One day, she wasn't paying close attention to the time, and the sun had begun to set. She was standing in the middle of the river filling her jug. When she looked up, she saw a young night owl boy standing by the edge of the river. She was about to scream, frozen by fear. Then the boy ran towards her and gently placed his hand over her mouth to encourage her not to scream. Still, she was terrified. As she looked into his eyes, his innocence slowly faded her fear away. The boy whispered to her, Don't believe everything you say about us. She broke free from him and ran straight home. That night she asked her father, Why do we fight the night owls? Because they are night owls, he responded. But what is it we do not like? She asked. They are of the night. They are evil. We are on the brink of another war with them that could start at any moment. It's not to be questioned. Just then, her mother heard them talking. She waited for her husband to leave, and then she told her daughter. I know not why we fight with the night owls, but upon the great mountain of knowledge, a lost legend tells of a wise man that I think can answer your question. The next day, while she was supposed to be doing her chores, with her mother's permission, she traveled a great distance and found that great mountain. It took her much effort and a long time to reach the top. There she found a dimly lit cave. Inside she found a set of stairs leading upward. At the top she found hunched over a boiling pot of water, an old man with a long flowing beard. Are you the wise man of the great mountain of knowledge? I am but a feeble man. I can see you have traveled a great distance. You can ask me anything you like. The little girl thought hard about how to phrase her question. Why do the sunflowers and the night owls fight? Oh, your question is wise beyond your years. This question is easy and complex at the same time. Why do a brother and sister fight? Why do the husband and wife sometimes not exchange the nicest of words? I do not understand. You see, it is not that they are different that they fight. It is that they are the same. But night owls are nothing like sunflowers. Ah, but they are. And therein lies the disappointment with each of them towards the other. Who have you fought worse with? A family member? A close friend, or someone you don't even know. The answer is obvious. You love your mom, you love your dad, you love your brother, you love your sister, but they are also the worst fights you've probably ever had. You see, it is not that they are different that they fight, it is that they are the same. But how is that possible? Let me show you something. Ah, here it is. Open it. Instantly, the little girl knew what she had to do, and she rushed home as quickly as she could. While she was gone, tensions had risen between the two tribes. Daylight was setting, and both tribes had gathered their forces on opposite sides of a large field. As it appeared, there was no hope but war. Suddenly, the little girl appeared in the middle of the soon-to-be war zone. Stop! 
What are you doing? What kind of trickery is this? It is dangerous here. You need to come back home. Daddy, listen to me. I have something important to tell you. No, you must go back home. No, you must listen to her. It is time for this to stop. This is not your place. You need to take her back home. I want to hear what she has to say also. Dad, just look. The wise man of the mountain showed me this. Showed you what? The girl grabbed the stick and cleared a spot in the grass, and then she drew. This is where we live. This is the sun. It gives a bright light. This is the moon. At night it reflects the light of the sun. This is wizardry. You're both worshipping the same god. Are you saying the moon produces no light? Impossible! This is clearly the fantasy of a child. Maybe I'm wrong, but I know this. We both worship the same thing. You worship the moon! You worship the sun! No, you are wrong. We both worship light. The light. That is what we have in common. The other differences we have created ourselves. You call it the moon, we call it the sun. But it is still light. We both worship the same God. The wise man told me this. It is the most basic of truths.